Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ritika Gaba, your one and only PhD mentor, advisor and trainer. Today I'm going to start this video by sharing with you an extremely important news. A news which is going to greatly impact all the PhD aspirants and as well as all the faculties dealing with the world of PhD. UGC has very recently released a new set of PhD guidelines. These guidelines are known by the name of minimum standards and procedures for the award of PhD regulations 2022 or in other words, other words UGC's PhD regulations of 2022. These regulations have were published in the official gazette on the 7th of November 2022 and now have also been released on the UGC's official website. For your convenience, we are sharing with you the link to these UGC's new guidelines in the description box below. In case you do want to read them, you can always download it from the link given. Now, once a regulation gets published in the official gazette, it means that it has now become a law which needs to be followed by all the universities, colleges, institutions awarding a PhD degree in India. It means that any student who is going to take admission in the PhD program on or after the 7th of November of 2022 would now be governed by these new PhD guidelines. A number of changes have been proposed or introduced in these new PhD guidelines. And of course, being your PhD mentor, I will definitely give you in-depth information about all these changes. But all that will be handled in our subsequent videos. In today's video, our focus of attention is going to be all the changes that, that have been proposed in the duration of pursuing a PhD. So yes, today we are going to deal and tell you all about duration of pursuing a PhD in India. So let us start this video by understanding what is what do we mean by the duration of pursuing a PhD. Now, UGC in the 2022 guidelines as well as all the older guidelines have defined clearly the duration for which a PhD has to be pursued. It defines the minimum time as well as the maximum time. By the word minimum time, we mean that a student has to continuously keep doing the PhD work with the, for this particular amount of time. So they you cannot submit your PhD before the lapse of the minimum time defined by UGC. Whereas when we talk about the maximum time, it means that a student cannot pursue their PhD beyond the maximum time period which has been defined by UGC. So in other words, a candidate has to complete their PhD work after the minimum time, but before the maximum time finishes. So any time between the minimum and the maximum time period defined, a student has to submit or complete their PhD. So now that we've clearly understood what is the duration to pursue a PhD, let us now move on to understanding what duration has been specified by UGC to pursue a PhD in the new 2022 guidelines. We will also be talking about in this section what exactly has changed in this duration in comparison to the older PhD guidelines of 2016. Okay, so for your easy understanding, we've created a table as you can see on the screen. Now, this table has been divided into four rows. The first and the second row deals with part-time and full-time PhD and the next two deals with female PhD candidates and PWD, that is person with disability with more than 40% disability. Now the minimum duration to pursue a PhD is common to all these four categories of students, whether you're pursuing a full-time PhD or a part-time PhD and you belong to whichever category, the minimum duration of pursuing a PhD is three years and that remains common to all the categories of student. From here, we move on to the maximum duration to pursue a PhD. As you can see in the table that the maximum duration specified to all other categories of students besides females and PWD candidates with more than 40% disability is six years. 
So whether you're pursuing a full-time PhD or a part-time PhD, you get a maximum six years to complete your PhD. However, PWD candidates with more than 40% disability and female candidates are given an additional two years of time period to complete their PhD. So for them, the total duration or the maximum duration to pursue your PhD becomes eight years. In addition to these two years, female candidates also get eight months or 240 days of maternity leave. So for females, the maximum duration becomes eight years, eight months, which is maximum amongst all the other categories of students. Till now, whatever we've told you about the minimum or maximum duration, this is all very similar or exactly the same as that given in the 2016 regulation. However, there is a new change, new addition in the 2022 regulation, which we are going to talk now. Now, in the 2022 regulation, UGC says that if a student is not able to complete their PhD by the maximum time period given to that category of student, then if a student wants, they can re-register themselves. Of course, this re-registration will require you to pay certain amount of fees and will also require approvals from your guide, your research committee and maybe your vice chancellor and so on. However, UGC give, has given you in the 2022 regulation a provision to re-register for an additional two years and these additional two years have been given to all the categories of student, females as well as PWD, full-time as well as part-time. Uh, if we include this uh, re-registration time period to the total time period or the maximum duration which was already given to all the students, then uh, the total time period to pursue a PhD for all other categories except female and PWT candidates with more than 40% disability becomes eight years. So you will be given a maximum, A. You, can, you have a maximum eight years of time period to pursue a PhD. Uh, the PWD candidates with more than 40% disability will get a total of 10 years and female candidate will get a total of 10 years, eight months, including the maternity leave that they can avail. This is all about the duration of pursuing a PhD. In the table, all that is highlighted in pink color is uh, specifies that this is all similar to the previous of the 2016 regulation, whereas the other two columns are one that are, are the new addition which, are, which has been done in the 2022 regulation. I hope with this you've clearly understood what the duration to pursue a PhD is. Important thing to note down before we end this video is that these are the minimum guidelines and a university if they want they can always make their PhD guidelines much more stringent, much more difficult. However, no university institution is allowed to relax their PhD guidelines more than what has been specified in these UGC guidelines. For example, there are many universities who say that the minimum duration to pursue a PhD for a part-time PhD candidate would be four years instead of the three specified in the UGC guidelines. There are many universities who say that the maximum time period given to pursue a PhD to full-time PhD candidate would be just five years instead of six years which have been given in the UGC guidelines. With this, we come to the end of this video. If you have any other questions related to PhD, related to duration or anything under the sun related to PhD in, in India, then please, please, please put them in the comment section below. We would love to address all your questions in our subsequent videos. With this, we end, I end this video. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe my videos. Thank you. Thank you.